Update 9.18, one of the largest updates in the history of World of Tanks, is coming. An improved matchmaker, Tier 10 light tanks, new sight and other features for artillery vehicles, reusable consumables, and more. Watch this episode for more information. Update 9.18 will feature nine new light tanks, which will make it possible to upgrade the light tank branch to Tier 10. The majority of top-tier vehicles will be relocated from Tier 8 to Tier 9, but without camouflages and emblems. Players will get compensation for them in gold. Unique camos will remain available, and players will be able to apply them to any vehicle. Changes in tank tiers won't have any effect on tank modules and crews. All modules researched on Tier 8 vehicles will be available for use. All crews will be retrained for operating Tier 9 tanks. But let's get back to top-tier vehicles. The Chinese WZ-132-1. Its main advantages are a robust turret, perfect armor penetration ability, and good one-shot damage. However, it can't match the alpha damage delivered by the U.S. tank. The Sheridan is able to inflict over a thousand points in one shot. This is a true gift for those who are fond of the T-49. The new tank has the same gun, but with better characteristics. But if you think that the howitzer isn't your kind of gun, you can always use the more accurate 105mm gun. Thanks to this gun, your tank will boast the best damage per minute, elevation and depression angles, and view range among same-tier vehicles. The German Rheinmetall Panzerwagen also provides a perfect view range, but its main advantages are fast aiming, high fire accuracy, and superb dynamics. The Soviet T-100LT is also perfectly maneuverable. Its power-to-weight ratio is almost 50 HP per ton. It resembles the good old T-52. It can boast the same maneuverability, stealth, and high rate of fire. In addition, thanks to the low hull and good armor, players' mistakes won't lead them to the garage immediately. The armor of the French AMX 13105 is not so good. Its main advantage is a three-shell autoloader. This tank is as furious as a hurricane. It rushes in to attack, delivers damage to anyone dumb enough to cross it, and swiftly retreats, leaving stunned opponents far behind. The new tanks also influenced the characteristics of existing vehicles. Many of them got better dynamics, rate of fire, and armor penetration ability. The French AMX 1390 is now equipped with a four-shell autoloader. Its gun parameters have been significantly improved. Aiming and penetrating armor have become much easier. Following the player's requests, the transition from the LTTB to the T-54 in the Soviet tree remained unchanged until the next update. We didn't change the gun of the ELC AMX tank, the autoloader of the M41 Walker Bulldog, or the howitzer of the T-49. Playing these tanks is still fun. Read more about the changes on the portal. Each of us has been a member of a team way worse than the enemies. The chances of winning under such circumstances are not equal. Our players asked us to improve the matchmaker a while ago. With Tier 10 light tanks, we can satisfy the request. We are pleased to introduce a new and more sophisticated matchmaker. Now, teams are formed by specific patterns. Opposing teams get well-balanced vehicles. The majority of battles will be three-tier battles. However, there are three conditions. No more than three top-tier vehicles. No more than five mid-tier vehicles, but no fewer than that of top-tier vehicles. No fewer than seven lower-tier vehicles. This will guarantee that you find your target. And if you find yourself at the bottom of the list several times in a row, the matchmaker will try to put you in the middle or top section of the list. It will try even if you change your vehicle, server, or if you re-enter the game. Sometimes, the queue will contain too many vehicles of a certain tier. In this case, players will enter a one-tier or two-tier battle. The matchmaker will create the lineup with five top-tier vehicles and ten lower-tier vehicles. In addition to these rules, teams will be additionally balanced in terms of vehicle types. The new algorithm will consider the number of scouts, arties, and tank destroyers. The difference in these vehicle types will not be more than one vehicle. After players' numerous requests, the maximum number of artillery vehicles on a team will be reduced from 5 to 3. Additionally, new rules for creating platoons will be implemented. 
Previously, a platoon of skillful artillerymen could easily hinder the game of any opponent. The overwhelming majority of players worldwide were unhappy with that fact. Therefore, we decided to block the option for recruiting artillery to a platoon. Considering this, we made changes to the conditions for completing personal missions for SPGs. Another critical solution for platoons was to allow only same-tier vehicles. Often, the whole team would suffer defeat because of two or three lame ducks. It's time to put an end to this injustice. First, we thought about forming platoons from vehicles of neighboring tiers. But then we had to reject this idea. According to our testing, such platoons would impair the balance even more. The map selection mechanism has also been improved. Many players complained that they had to play on the same maps repeatedly during a single play session. Now, the matchmaker will remember the maps you played on to avoid their frequent selection in the future. Please note that maps like Himmelsdorf and Winter Himmelsdorf will be considered as one map. Playing the Assault, Encounter Battle, and Standard Battle modes will also be considered as one map. You can leave your feedback about the new matchmaker in a corresponding forum topic. For a while now, thousands of players have been complaining about getting one-shotted by artists. The degree of discontent about artillery was growing, and the developers couldn't ignore it. After many months of intense work and testing, we are pleased to introduce new artillery. Artillery vehicles are now equipped only with HE shells. Their damage delivery and armor penetration abilities have been downgraded. Now, sending an opponent to the garage with a single shot is unlikely. However, we improved their accuracy, aiming, and reload time. Higher tier vehicles have a larger burst radius. It's more interesting to shoot at a group of enemy vehicles rather than a single target. In addition to the improved characteristics, artillery now has a new feature, the ability to stun enemies. Enemy vehicles in the splash area get stunned for a period of time. Their view range, maneuverability, accuracy, and reload times are adversely affected. It drastically changes the role of artillery in battle. The splash damage and stunning effect allow players to hold back enemy attacks on an entire flank. Artillery can now provide highly effective support to the team. It's more useful to play for the team, not for yourself. The stunning period depends on many factors. The duration of the stunning effect is indicated by a specific marker over the vehicle. Another marker can be used by an artillery player to show their teammates where they are aiming. It will allow the latter to better focus on targets and timely leave the fire area. Another feature for artillery vehicles is an alternative aiming sight. The trajectory sight option will allow players to better aim at hard-to-reach areas. Players will be able to change between sights at their own discretion, even while aiming. If you have received splash damage, you can use a first aid kit. Now, it can cure not only crew injuries, but the stun effect as well. Moreover, first aid kits, repair kits, and fire extinguishers are now reusable. 90 seconds after their use, the consumables may be reused again, and there's no extra cost. To protect vehicles from artillery, a small liner can be used. It also reduces the stun duration by 10%. Many changes are pretty daring, but we are prepared to take risks to make the game more interesting. Major changes in the game did not affect the release of HD vehicles. This time, we designed 26 vehicles, 10 of them for the Soviet nation. Players will find the much-loved BT-2, lighter T-54, and improved Object 261. The small Japanese Otsu, the big US T-92, and many others received a better design. And that's not all that Update 9.18 will bring. We only mention the most significant stuff here. Thank you for helping with the development of our project. Together, we make the game better.